Hello, I'm Bernie Hui, Automation Engineer in the ATC Department of Omron. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the Automotive Demo Program to print an inventory tracking label. The NB, HMI, and CP PLC provide a compact and cost-effective solution for printing a sub-assembly ID or inventory tracking barcode label. I'll be using an HP printer, an Omron CP1L or CP2E PLC, a NBHMI, a W4S1 Ethernet switch, and Ethernet cables. Detailed instructions are provided in the CP and NBHMI print label quick start guide. This video assumes you already install Omron CX1 programming software onto your computer and have basic knowledge programming Omron PLC and HMI. Here's the wiring diagram. On the left is the wiring diagram if you are using a CP1L. On the right is the wiring diagram if you are using CP2E. Before you can download the font to the printer, you need to enable the LPR port monitor features to download font to the printer using Ethernet connection. So from the control panel, go to Program and File Features, select Turn Window Features On or Off, expand the Print and Document Services, and select LPR Port Monitor. Now you can download the Co39 font to the printer, following the instruction provided by the barcode font supplier on how to download. If you are using the font supply from this demo, there's a batch file you need to execute. Right click, run as administrator, and this will download the barcode font to the printer. Now open the CPPLC demo program and download to the CPPLC. This is the CPPLC program. If you double click on the print label to set up the connection between your computer and the PLC, go to Network Type, Ethernet, Settings, go to the Driver tab, enter the IP address of your CP2E, in my case it's a dot .10, enter the last octet of your computer IP, in my case it's 89. Now double click on Settings. Go to built-in Ethernet tab, enter this IP address for your PLC, which is .10, and use no 10 for your fins. Now go online to PLC, put the PLC into program mode, download the program. Now double click on settings, option, transfer or send to the PLC. Put the PLC in monitor mode. If your PLC IP address was not .10, after you transfer, it will disconnect you. So you can go back to the change PLC, go to Ethernet network settings, go to driver, and enter .10 here so that you can connect to your PLC. If you're using a CP1L, the setting is the same. Go to network type, Ethernet settings, driver, enter your CP1L IP address here, your last octet of your computer IP here. Go to settings. Go to built-in Ethernet. Enter the IP address, which is dot ten for the PLC, and the fins no equal to ten also. Now open the NBHMI demo program and download to the NBHMI. 
This is the NBHMI program. Double click on the icon of the HMI. Go to the PT tab and enter this IP address for the NBHMI, which is dial 11. Go to tools, transmission setting, to set up the connection between your computer and your NBHMI. Type in the IP address of the NBHMI. In my case, it's dot 11. Go to Tools, Recompile. Go to Tools, Download. Now we're going to do a demonstration on the label printing. This is the automotive demo. On here, this is the NBHMI. This is the CP2E PLC. On the main screen of the, of the NBHMI, you get a selection of text that will be added to the label. You can enter a 32 character user defined text. And also will print the name Amran and the minute second of the clock. You can change this if you wish in the program to your own label. If you go to the setup screen, it lets you change the IP address of your printer and show you the status of your Ethernet connection. You press the clock icon, you can change the clock on the NBHMI. So after you select your predefined text, you can connect to printer and print. Here's the label that was printed with the title, the text that was selected, the 32 character text, and the code 39 barcode on the bottom. That concludes this quick start video on NBHMI and CPPLC automotive demo program to print an inventory tracking label. For f more information on NBHMI and CPPLC, please visit our website at automation.amron.com or look us up on YouTube under Amron Automation Americas.